marks the first criminal trial of any former U.S. president, the day ending without any jurors being chosen. It's the first of four criminal trials the former president is facing, but the only one that's expected to wrap up before November's presidential election. We have live Fox 5 team coverage of today's proceedings. Linda Schmidt is in studio with more on the jury selection process and the search to find impartial jurors. But first, let's start with Sharon Crowley live outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan with the latest on day one of the trial. Sharon. Yeah, it was a very busy day here in Lower Manhattan, the courthouse right behind me as jury selection got underway. Former President Donald Trump front and center inside the courtroom. He is required to be here every day of the proceedings. He talked with reporters a couple of times today and it was clear from his remarks he would rather be, well, almost anywhere else. Former President Donald Trump's historic criminal trial getting underway inside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Jury selection beginning after Trump and his legal team failed to get a change of venue. Trump believes he cannot get a fair trial in Manhattan because a majority of registered voters here are Democrats. This is political persecution. This is really an attack on a political opponent. That's all it is. Trump is accused of 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to cover up payments to two women, Karen McDougal and porn star Stormy Daniels, who alleged they had sexual affairs with him. Trump's former fixer Michael Cohen admits to orchestrating the payouts to silence them ahead of the 2016 election. Trump denies any wrongdoing. It's a scam. It's a political witch hunt. It continues and it continues forever. And we're not going to be given a fair trial. It's a very, very sad thing. Before jury selection began, lawyers spent hours arguing over evidence, how to question potential jurors, and debating whether or not Trump violated his gag order with recent social media posts. The judge also deciding to allow a transcript of the infamous Access Hollywood tape to be read. However, he will not allow the videotape to be shown to the jury. Court proceedings ended without seating even one juror. The process may take several weeks. More than half of the first group of prospective jurors were excused after indicating they could not be fair or impartial. Judge Juan Mershon also rejected Trump's request to skip court to attend the Supreme Court arguments in his immunity case. And one other thing the judge has not decided yet, whether to allow Trump to miss the trial to attend his son's high school graduation in May. Well, the judge also saying that there will be a hearing next week to determine, as prosecutors allege, whether former President Donald Trump violated his gag order by posting about key witnesses like Stormy Daniels on social media in a defamatory way. Now, uh, otherwise, this trial, as you can see, is generating enormous attention, not just from the United States, but around the world. We have seen media outlets here, and you can see why this may be the only case that goes to trial before the November election. Of course, Trump remains the Republican frontrunner. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All 